Hello and welcome to my Mixo.io review where I'm going to be giving you a quick demo and overview about how this AI website builder works and of course showing you some of the features and perks that come along with it. One of the big perks that does come along with it is the ability to use it for free and I will leave my link down below in case you want to test that out. Should you want to upgrade, their pricing plans are pretty price friendly, especially if you want to get up and running with a website. Let's begin. So in case you're not familiar with how it works when it comes to my tutorial, I will walk you through right here. You enter your idea, you set a goal, and then you customize your content. This right here is going to be 80% of the heavy lifting, which is going to be done with AI, which is pretty cool. Allow me to show you an example. So what's your startup idea? I put, I help online business owners increase their traffic with various social media platforms such as YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. As long as you know how to answer that question, you're going to be able to build a website. And that's a big thing when it comes to Mixo. It really takes a lot of the tech aspects out of it. So if you're not a tech wizard, this might be for you. Let's click on continue. And going through, we just want to simply select the goal for this. Maybe we want to collect subscribers, link to a website, get contacted. Let's say we want to have people reach out to us where they can say they want to work with you or maybe they want to ask for your fee, whatever it's going to be, right? You can always change this around later if needed. All right, and so as an example, I just put your email at gmail.com and let's click on the generate button. And just like that, Give it about 30 seconds or so, give or take, and we're gonna have a website up and running that we can edit. Once it is done, I will get back to you and I will show you how it works. All right, and while I wasn't timing it, once again, it was probably around 30 seconds, which is pretty quick if you ask me. So as it shows right here, we have booster online traffic with social media boost. Uh, we have a little headline under it. This is the main goal here for contacting us. We have just a testimonial, which you can obviously remove if you don't have any. And these are gonna be like the main headlines or features. We're gonna have one there with text, the picture near it, one there, one with text, the picture next to it, and of course, once more. We have another testimonial. Once again, you can remove all of these if needed. And just like that, that's gonna be the website. Another cool thing is it makes it easy to customize your brand. For example, if you were going to change this, this is gonna be your site name that you change, your site logo, and your primary colors. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that if you do wanna save and continue, it is gonna ask you if you wanna upgrade. Nevertheless, you can create a website for free. It's just a lot of the cool aspects of it you're not gonna be able to utilize. For example, when it comes to a free website, you can just have the homepage, but if you want extra pages like about us, our strategies, reaching out, that's what's gonna require you to upgrade, as along with a few other features like say getting a custom domain and so on and so forth. Now I am upgraded on one of my sites and when you do upgrade, it's gonna be per site. So allow me to open up mine just to kind of show you what I did and give you an example about how you can change things around in terms of your logo, your banners and basically everything else on your website. All right, so here we are with a Marketing Island website that I created. You'll notice I have my logo here with the text that it goes with it. I have two colors that are kind of giving it that tropical vibe. We have our SEO title, SEO description, and of course our favicon, which would show up right here when opening it in a new browser, okay? Aside from that, anytime we want to change something, you're going to notice every section here is going to have three dots. So if we wanted to change around this headline, we would click on this and go to Edit Content. From there, it's gonna drop up on the left side showing that you can change that. We have primary button, sign up form if you're gonna be using it. And as you'll scroll down, you're gonna notice that the images match up where you can change them, remove them. For example, if we did wanna change this, we can go to say Unsplash, which is royalty free pictures. I'm gonna type in software, I'm gonna search. And once again, we have more that we can choose from. So it's pretty cool that they allow you to grab some, just make your life a little bit easier. Let's say we wanted to use that. It's gonna replace it and it's gonna be good to go. Scrolling down even more, this is gonna be like the features section. So if I was to click on this, we can do edit content. Once again, while it shows feature here, that just stated like a lot of times people will sell products. So a feature of that, even if your website isn't really a feature, it's just more about like what you do. So that's gonna be the section where you can change that. You can position it differently. You can show reviews if you want and scrolling down a little bit more it's going to be a lot of the same thing and one thing I do want to talk about while I love the simplicity of this a lot of the websites are going to be set up in a similar way which isn't too bad because if you're looking for something basic you're probably not creating a ton of websites in the first place and from my experience when it comes to websites the simpler do the best when you arrive on a website like this it's usually going to be one goal and what's this going to be like browsing reviews reaching out to me getting an email address contacting making a purchase whatever it's going to be and when you have that right up top square dab in the middle or smack dab in the middle that's going to be a really good thing now scrolling down here you're going to notice pretty much everything that you need to edit is going to be on the left side so if we kind of close this you can see a lot of the sections so 
We have the hero, which is going to be the main top with the title and like the headlines and so on and so forth. And everything is just going to be right here for the majority of you to edit, making your life much easier. So given the fact that Mixo is going to be doing 80% of the heavy lifting when it comes to the creation, everything else is here is going to be like a template where you can go in, edit it. And once again, that really hits home on being like a non-tech wizard. You don't have to worry about a lot of stuff here. No coding, no crazy stuff, just a simple website for you to get up and running. And like I said before, in case I forgot to mention, you can use a free website. It's more so once you want a few more upgrades, that's where you can actually upgrade yourself. And speaking of that, let's take a quick look at the Mixo pricing. So overall, the Mixo pricing is going to be pretty price friendly, especially for the fact that if you're looking for a basic site, you're looking at about $9 a month or just $9 a month. If you want to pay annually, you can save 20% where it comes out a little bit less, but obviously paid once a year. So with the basic site, you get a single page website, custom domain, site hosting included, SSL certificate included, and remove Mixo branding. Going up from there, you get more websites and so on and so forth. You can also publish additional pages with AI. And of course, if you need many more, there's gonna be an option for you as well. And there is one more thing I do wanna bring up before I get to my last overview is the fact that it's overall just pretty straightforward to use. When I did a tutorial, it's probably gonna be around the same length as this one. And I find that as a good thing, not only as reviewing software, but as for you, the user. If it's not gonna take a long time for me to explain, it's not gonna take you a whole lot of time to get up and running. And that's just once again, a very big strong point of this where it's geared towards anyone who doesn't wanna utilize any of that tech type of stuff. Just use AI, plug in a prompt, give it the goal. And from there, you can make a few tweaks based upon the templates that they've given you. In conclusion, Mixo.io stands out as an exceptionally user-friendly tool for website creation, making it an ideal choice for those who aren't tech savvy. Its straightforward and intuitive interface simplifies the process of building a website, catering perfectly to anyone who happens to be a non-technical wizard. While the websites created with Mixo.io tend to be simple and basic in design, the platform offers a sufficient range of editing features to customize and tailor these sites to your individual purposes, kind of used as a template. So for anyone looking to launch a website quickly and without the hassle of complex coding or technical hurdles, Mixo.io is a fine choice. This platform demonstrates that effective web presence is accessible to everyone, regardless of their technical background. And that's going to conclude my Mixo.io review. If you would like to test it out, don't forget that they do come with a completely free plan, so you do have the ability to get a free site. Should you want to upgrade, this is what you're going to be looking at in terms of the features, the prices, and the perks. Thank you so much for watching my Mixo.io review. My name is James and I'll see you in my next video.